Hey gems, welcome to the channel Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise for those of you who are new to the channel. And I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about God, Jesus, and expanding the kingdom of God. Today's video is going to be about my devotional process, how I do my devotional times, and walking you through an actual sit down of me doing my devotional time with you. Um, I read three devotionals on a daily basis. I have two devotionals which are a staple. And then the third devotional is a pick out of the devotionals that I sat near my bed. Now, I have a basket near my bed where I've picked out a few devotionals to read for this year. And um, I read one of those a day coupled with the other devotionals. Now, some people do one devotional a day. I like to do three um, just because it helps me to stay grounded on the word, helps me to meditate on God and just stay focused on him. And I find that when I do read the three different devotionals, they always, for some reason, coincide together, which is a blessing to my life and my heart. But, um, yeah, so the first devotional that I always read is the Our Daily Bread devotional. And let me just keep this guy on autofocus. Okay, so the first one I read is the Our Daily Bread. This is a quarterly devotional that you get, and it's for three months. This one is from December 2017 to February 2018. It is the winter edition. Um, and you can see that from the photo, which I think the photo is super cute with the snow, berries, and branch. Um, and there's a scripture on the front from Psalm 74, 17. It was you who set all the boundaries of the earth. You made both summer and winter. The next devotional that I read is the In Touch Ministries devotional. This is a monthly devo that you get every month. This one is for January 2018. And I absolutely love the cover art. Um, it is the mountains with snow, and then you have the greenery down here. I really like it, but um, this is monthly. And this is from Dr. Charles F. Stanley. His ministry is amazing. And I'll leave links for both of these devotionals down below. You can subscribe to get the physical copies, or you can also get the email copies. So I'll leave them down below. And Our Daily Bread, I believe, has a... Um, uh, app and I think in touch does too. I'll leave them linked down below if anything. Um, I don't know why that was making that sound, but okay. The next one is the God is Faithful My Daily Devotional. You guys definitely saw this devotional in my top, um, I think it was top favorite devotionals of 2017 that I posted. You can click the eye on the screen for that video. I put this devotional because it is phenomenal. I love it. It is from Thomas Nelson. I love Thomas Nelson as a company, as a brand. They're amazing. And um, this is the devotional that I read on Mondays. So that's that. Then we have the notebook that I use. I just use a regular composition notebook. It's like this peachy salmon pink color. It says be bright and rules gold for you. It is from Walmart. It is college rule because I don't care for white rule paper. I just can't stand those types of papers. But that's that. Then of course I need my Bible. So you guys know I normally use my um, journaling Bible but I use it specifically for when I'm studying the word um, because I don't like to write my devotional notes in here so what I've been using recently is the Thomas Nelson's chain reference Bible this is not a study Bible it is a resource reference Bible and I love this as a study Bible because it's basically the scripture studying itself because it's referencing to many other scriptures out there. I'm just fixing the camera. Sorry, you guys. But um, I love this, and this is one that I definitely use when I'm studying. This is in the King James Version. It does come in the ESV as well as the New King James Version. And I believe it comes in bonded leather as well as hardcover, but I like the paperback because it's floppy and easy to maneuver. I also use the Nelson's Biblical Cyclopedic Index because I might need something to look up and it's basically a concordance and dictionary in one with references to scriptures which I like basically what this is I do have links for this in the two Bibles down below in the bottom bar so just look in the description bar they're definitely there right before you get to the my social media links next I always keep my prayer journal because I need to pray um, and the devotionals do contain prayers which I do end up writing in my journal and those prompt me into my own personal prayers. Last two items I use are sticky notes. I don't always use them, but I have sticky notes just in case. These are the ready tag ones that I like. And stickers. These are the Me and My Big Ideas um, Happy Planner Faith sticker pack. 
I love these stickers, you guys. They're amazing. They're literally all about faith. And it's just an awesome sticker pack. I've used a few so far. But um, I love this sticker pack. It's amazing. And I just use it just in case I want to spruce anything up. But probably not today. So what I'm going to do now is get into my devotion for the day. So I have already... Oh, well, let me show you guys my, my setup for the devotional schedule. I Like I said, I have Monday through Sunday, and I pick whatever devotional is on for that day to add on to the other two devotionals. But um, let's just move along. Okay, so we're here. And I already wrote the date up here, as well as Our Daily Bread, because that's the first one I'm going to read. And I just use a basic black pen. It's really nothing special. I just use this one. Don't even know where I got it from. Um, and then I'm going to open up to today's reading. Okay. So today's reading is here. And um, I'm going to write down the topic for the day. I have been using these two gel pens from, um, what are these? The Ink Joy gel pens, 0.7 millimeters from Papermate, because I'm debating if I like them. I don't like them on this type of paper, but I do like them, if that makes sense. Um, for some reason on this paper, they just bleed a lot, but I think it's just the material of this paper. But I'm just going to write, it's in the attitude right here on the side. Um, so, I just like to keep the topic written down. I do keep all the devotionals, but if I do happen to throw them away, I still have the title, that way I can go on the website and look them up if need be so it's in the attitude and um i'm gonna make a star with the black pen and i write all my notes with the pink pen i also use highlighters so the highlighters i use are these glow line highlighters from where did i get these dollar tree i use the pink one for anything that stands out the yellow one to highlight scriptures that i really care for and the purple for prayers so i just keep all those in a little container sitting right at the edge and um okay so the scripture or today's reading well let me show you guys the setup for our daily bread so how they go about it is they give you the date and the date if you're doing the bible in one year kind of reading plan they give you where you should be your topic your devo you have your your reading for today and then the key verse that they prefer to stick to. You have um, a quick prayer and then a one-liner that basically kind of summarizes everything that you read in your devotional. So, like I said, the scripture is James 1, verses 1 through 12. So I'm going to put this aside for now. And in the chain reference Bible, we're going to flip to James 1. And again, there will be a review on this Bible coming soon because I adore this Bible, you guys. I adore it so much. Okay, so we're in James. And here's James 1. So it's verse 1 through 12. I'll show you guys again verse 1 through 12 with a focus on verse 2. So I'm going to pause, zoom you guys in so we can get this ball rolling. Okay, so... Now that I have you guys zoomed in, let's just jump into the scripture. So, James, the general epistle of James, the apostle exhorts to patience and affliction. And again, it's verses 1 through 12, which we're going to read. James, a servant of God, of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting, My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse, temptation, diverse temptations. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience, but let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that giveth all men liberally, uh, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. But let, not, let sorry, but let him ask in faith nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Let the brother of... Sorry, I'm just trying to make sure I'm in, full, in the frame, you guys. Um, let the brother of low degree rejoice in that he exalted. But the rich... 
and that he made low, because as the flower of the grass he shall pass away. For the sun is no sooner risen with a burning heat, but it withereth the grass, and the flower thereof falleth, and the grace of the fashion of it perish. So also shall the rich man fade away in his ways. And the last verse is 12. Blessed is a man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Now, again, I'm just going to say I prefer the New King James Version. I did grow up on the King James Version, and I understand the King James. But I just, all that wither thou the, I just don't like that. Um, so I do prefer the King James, the New King James Version. But because I don't want to be tempted to write in that um, Bible, I'm going to be using this one. And I like this because it basically breaks down each verse into a word and a specific topic. So, um, it's basically the value of trials, the source of wisdom, unwavering faith being essential, and outward circumstances that are changeable. So, now that I've read that scripture, and again, the focus was on verse 2, which is, My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptation. I'm going to again reread that in the New King James because I did not care for that in the King James. So we are going to go ahead and get along. Okay, so rereading again. 1 verse 1 through 12. James, a bond servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, readings. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. But let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to him. But let him ask in faith with no doubting, for he who doubts is like a wave of the sea driven and tossed by the wind. For let not the man... For let not that man suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. Let the lowly brother glory in his exaltation, but the rich in his humiliation. Because as a flower of the field, he will pass away. For no sooner has the sun risen with a burning heat than it withers the grass. Its flowers falls, and its beautiful appearance perishes. So the rich man also will fade away in his pursuits. Blessed is a man who endures temptation, for when he has been approved, he will receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to those who love him. And again, the focus is on verse 2, which is, My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials, or diverse temptation. So, moving over. Make sure this is focused. Okay, so now I'm just going to simply quickly read through the devotional and I am going to highlight this scripture because I did like this passage today so and I like the focus verse as well so I'm just going to underline as I read So, after I done read through and underlined whatever I feel, I'm going to highlight. So, I'm actually going to highlight the whole everything I underlined because I didn't underline a lot. And, you know, sometimes there's a lot I underline and then sometimes there's not, you know. But I'm, I'm just going to highlight this because I really do like that. I'm going to highlight this key line at the bottom because I do like that. And I am going to highlight the prayer because I read it and I like that prayer. And I definitely could use it, so I'm going to highlight it in purple. 
Again, these highlighters are from Dollar Tree. Any highlighters will do. So, those are going to be my notes for when I go to write in here. I'm going to put this to the side for now. And grab my pink pen. Actually, I'm going to place it up here to the side. Okay, so now what I'm going to write is... I'm going to put my journey of learning to trust, wait, hold on. I'm going to write, I am on a journey of learning to trust God with hard circumstances because that's basically what it's saying. And before when I used to write my notes, I used to write it word for word from out of the devotionals. But I feel like when I put when I replace the words them and we with I and me, it makes it more personal. It makes me feel like I'm really grasping the word um, that was given. So, and this is actually something I really needed to read today, which is crazy. Uh, okay. So I wrote my notes down, and my handwriting is a little sloppy. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> so I wrote that down, and um, that's basically what I got is basically what I highlighted and underlined. I just replaced it. So how it says we are each on our own journey, I just put I am on my own journey. Sorry, you guys. I had to yawn. And you might hear a bag because I have peanuts. Um because my head is starting to hurt and I realized peanuts help me to combat those headaches so yeah so after I write everything down I basically put this aside until I get to my prayer journal section so I'm just going to set this aside and I'm going to write in touch now because this is the next devotional I'm going to move on to today's reading, Resp <laughs> responding to closed doors. So you guys, when I say a lot of these really relate to me when I need them to, it's it's amazing. It is honestly amazing. Like, let me just show you guys. Like, I just love the, these devotions, you guys. They are freaking amazing. They are freaking amazing. So, responding... Close doors. That is the topic. The scripture is First Samuel thirteen, verse one through fourteen. I'm gonna actually read that in my New King James version because I don't know the Old Testament and the King James irritates me. And I know that sounds bad, but it's just like it's harder for me to comprehend it. So we're gonna be in First Samuel. 13, verse 1 through 14. Uh -huh. That is a lot. So I am basically going to read through this quickly. Um, I'm going to speed the camera up while I'm reading, of course. But uh, you guys can see. So let's just go into this.
basically, Saul didn't listen to Samuel, who gave him God's word. He disobeyed and basically made a sacrifice that wasn't warranted. And so, instead of Saul conquering over Israel, God basically decided that his kingdom would end. And that's basically what it was about. So, now we're going to read the Devo. Responding to closed doors. And I actually do like that. Um, I did like that scripture, so I'm going to highlight it because it was interesting. And I'm definitely going to study that. I can't wait to study Samuel Kings and stuff. So, I'm going to read through and underline as I read through. Okay, guys, so I don't know if you guys can see this clearly, what I just read, but just wow, like, mind blown, and yeah, like, I'm going to highlight a few things here. So I'm basically literally highlighting this whole bottom paragraph because it is freaking amazing, you guys, so. I tell you, these devotionals always, always give me something good. Okay, so I'm just going to basically write down my notes of what I highlighted and underlined. Um, that's basically pretty much it, so we're going to jump into that now. Okay, guys, so I wrote my notes. Um, basically, what I got is to not force a closed door open. The cost of disobedience are always higher than the benefits of pushing through. If God closed the door, it is for my protection. My response should be to patiently wait and be faithful in my present situation and that God will either open the door or redirect me to a new one that leads to his will. And this is definitely something I needed for today. <laughs> oh, my God. It that is amazing, I tell you. I love my devotional times. And I normally do listen to music as well, the instrumentals. But um, that is it for this Devo. So I can put this one to the side. And we're going to move on to God is Faithful. So this is the last Devo for the day. I'm just going to go to where I have it bookmarked. Okay. So. Here is this one. And it, this one is real simple. You have your week and your date. Oh, I am so sorry. I moved the camera. Okay. You have your week and your date. Your topic, your scripture, your devo, and then a prayer. And it tells you who wrote it at the bottom. I hope you guys can see that. So, like I said, your devo your prayer, and then the pastor. So the scriptures they do have in here, but I do prefer to read them in the King James and the New King James because I think the translations in here are different. Um, let me see. They use the KGV, the NASB, the message, which I don't care for the message. They use a contemporary English version, which I don't know what that is. The NLT and the TLB. 
So yeah, I don't know about half of those things. So I just prefer to read them in the New King James and the King James translation. So I will read the scripture and it is Job um, 31 verse 5 and 6. It says, if I have walked with falsehood or if my foot has hastened to deceit, let me be weighed on honest scales that God may know my integrity. So I'm going to quickly turn to that in my New King James Bible. I'm not going to show it to you guys. I'm just going to read it. So it's Job 31, 5 and 6, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I'm going to quickly read it. Yeah, okay, so this is written in the New King James Translation. It says, if I have walked with falsehood or if my foot has hastened to deceit, let me be weighed on honest scales that God may know my integrity. So that translation is the New King James. I'm going to turn to it in the King James Version. The King James Version says, If I have walked with vanity, or if my foot hath hasted to deceit, let me be weighed in an even balance that God may know mine integrity. So it's basically saying, if I walked sinfully, um, let there be a divine balance so that God can see for himself. Kind of sense. Um, okay, so I am going to read and underline as I go. Okay, guys, so I've read it. As you guys saw, I'm going to highlight now. Um, I'm going to highlight this because I think it's important to understand that if we have nothing to hide, then we have nothing to fear. Because I think a lot of us fear things because we feel like there's something out there that we don't want people to know. And um, I want to be like Joe in that sense. So... Nothing to hide from God and the people, therefore, nothing to fear. Because I think that's just profound to understand. Um, I like that even though Job was being tested, he remained faithful in his integrity. Because a lot of us tend to waver and question a lot. So I like that. And um, I like that God sees past the facade. And that prayer really spoke to me, so um, I am definitely going to highlight that prayer. And I'm going to write all of my notes down.
There we go. And I'm going to put this one aside as well because I'm going to use the prayers in that. But um, this is basically how I go about it. Um, you have the devotional, the topic, my notes, uh, what I highlighted and underline. Sometimes I do go a little bit more in depth with my notes, but basically this is basically it on a daily kind of thing. So next I'm going to turn the page, and I don't write on the back page because sometimes I may need it. I don't know if I did in this one. Yeah, like sometimes I'll need it because, oh, you can't see. On that side I wrote quite a lot of notes, so, you know. So I'm just going to write the date for tomorrow, which is 123.18. Our daily bread. I don't know if you guys can see, sorry. The topic for tomorrow is a yes of loves of love. And I'm all set for tomorrow, starting with that. So that's that. What I'm going to do now is grab my prayer journal. And um, I'm going to write today's date. And I start in my prayer, write in my prayer journal um, in various ways. Sometimes I write Dear Abba. Sometimes I say Heavenly Father. Sometimes I call him Daddy. It really depends. And I'm in more of a Daddy mood today. So I'm going to write Good Morning Daddy. And I'm showing you guys this because I don't mind showing you how I write out the scriptures, um, not the scriptures, the prayers from the devos into something else. Um, but normally I wouldn't show you guys my prayers because my prayers do get personal and real. <laughs> so I come before you humbly. Okay, so here is the prayer that I wrote out. Basically, I said, Good morning, Daddy. I come before you humbly with an open heart. I bow before you in your eternal love. Today's devotions really spoke to my heart and helped me to keep my eyes focused on you. I want to be a person of integrity, a person who has nothing to hide. Forgive me for my hidden sins. Enable me to bring them to the light and put them under the blood of Jesus. Please help me to walk in, in the light, to live in truth and uprightness. Please change my attitude about hard times, Father. Bring about joy, perseverance, and maturity in me. Father, I give honor to your name, glory to your works. You are the source of my very life. Without you, I would be nothing. You sustain me, and I magnify you, because if not for you, I would have fallen years ago. Thank you for the work you continually do in me, for your loving kindness and mercy. Amen. And this middle portion is literally the two scriptures, I mean the two prayers from the devotionals, which is fine. So basically after that, I'm done. And I close it up, and I just put my devotionals and stuff back. So, here is the bin. Let me zoom out. This is the bin where all of the devotionals are that I'm going to be reading. So, I literally just pop them back in. Along with the journal. And that's pretty much how it goes. Um, I have all these devotionals I'm going to be getting through this year. And tomorrow is going to be Jesus Calling time, so I can't wait for that. 
And um, that's pretty much how I do my devotional time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, just let me know. I'm going to definitely do more um, study with me videos that will be more in-depth with me talking in them. But uh, other than that, I will see you guys. Thank you guys for commenting, rating, subscribing, and all that great stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!